We'll call the meeting to order. It's five minutes past five. Uh, uh, did everybody have a chance to review the minutes? Yeah, I saw the ones that were already changed. That were Today added. I sent another. Tom, were you able to open? Because um, Ed Saro told me to try saving it in like a PDF and emailing yes, it. I did, Carrie. Uh, I forget what the last thing was, but I was able to open it on my phone. Okay, that's the difference. That you can't word. open a Word document, but you can open a PDF. So that's yes. how I'll send it. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Carrie. Yep. So I sent an updated one. There are a few changes on the last page that. Um, All right. What just happened? Yeah. What were the What were those changes? Do, do you know? Yeah, I do. Hold on. I just got to grab it. <clears throat> so on the second to last page under the 373 Crescent Street, I had um, about halfway down, I had uh, Mr. Park stated he did look into it and that the septic system is not anywhere near his sprinkler line or water service and stated that the owner, I had put it past the retaining wall and Wayne had me take out, put it past, and put over dug it to put in a new retaining wall. Dug over it. Yep. And then at the end, it wasn't a water line. Like at the end of that sentence, it continues. It says, which is why he hit, it should say the sprinkler line, yep. not the water line. Okay. <clears throat> And then the last paragraph, I added a sentence under 586 Manly at the bottom of the page. Um, it was agreed that the owner could tie into his existing line and in, would install a curb stop and pay for a meter. It would then have to pay for two active accounts. It was also agreed that he didn't have to pay for a new service and that he could tie into the existing line. Wayne made those changes. Is that okay with with everybody? Uh, um, with that, way he's going to do that water service. Yeah, yeah, we we talked I, about that last time. Right. Yeah. And everybody's okay with that. Yeah. All right, because we we were adding another service, and so we're not getting um, the um, the fee there to, toward the expansion of the system. You know. Mm -hmm. so, so everybody's okay with that. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not clear on that. Okay. So what, he, uh, he's using the original curb stop to the house. Is that correct? Yeah, but where he cut, where he tees in, he's going to add a curb stop for the line as it runs over to his building. Okay. And the building and the house are all on the same property. All in the same service too. Yep. From, so I, I don't understand what we're doing different. He's well, just got to put new service in for the barn. He's going to remove the service. Yeah, the barn he's going to cut off. And if he sells it, whoever buys it will have to pay for a new service. Right. But he's not. He's gotten rid of his tenants and he's going to cut it off. Right now he's laid off all his workers, so he's not doing anything. He's waiting for everything to start going again. Now, are we charging him for the service to the new building? No. No, because that's existing, correct? Right. Well, way back in the beginning, when he first came in, you guys had all agreed that he could tie into the existing line. But then right. it got a little funky when he, you know, he didn't tell. He, we asked him if he subdivided the property. He said he didn't, but he actually did. So he, he more than what wants to cut the service off. He just needs his guys to come back to work. Our, our fee structure is set up so that it's broken down into um, two different sections. One is uh, if, if the, the person contributes toward the expansion of the system um, to pay for the new well, because they're putting more demand on the system. The second part is if the town has to, we have to go out, we have to tap in the new water main and bring the line to the to the property line. So there's a fee for that. And if it's across the street, it's more money. And if it's on the same side of the street, it's a little less money. 
So um, in this case, he's going to add another service, but we're not we're not charging him anything for the extra demand. It's kind of a backwards way to to go so it's in. all off the original service, right? <clears throat> yeah. So what you're saying is he's going to use more water off the original service, and we're not we're not really getting anything out of it. Right. It's not like a house, though. He's just basically right. it's just a bathroom, and right. you know, wash it's not going to. He's not, not going to use much water off it, probably. All right, and that we're going to get a, another tie-in fee out of it when they do the bond. Yeah, okay. but it, we, I, I think we have to um, figure out how we're going to handle these. You know, we, you know, because we had, you know, we had um, the other one th uh, on Crescent Street. He wanted to do the same thing, remember? Um, so I think we need to come up with a policy and just be the same on on all of them. You know. You still have one more guy outstanding. The guy on um, at the corner of River and South Elm, who was adding on his in-law apartment. Oh yeah, really I told him that he could tie into the existing serve. But in this case, he's going to tie in after the meter. But from what I've heard, he has a steel line. I don't think it's going to support that when the time comes. Yeah, well, we've always let people just tie off the back side of the, you know, on the back side of their house to tie in an, another service. But we always figured that they couldn't get any more water out of that line after it went through the house and everything right. to service another one. You know, that if they really were going to put more demand on, they'd have to have a, you know, a separate line coming closer from the street. But I, I just want to be consistent. If we're going to give this guy a break, I, you know, we just got to come up with a policy um, for the future. I don't think we're really giving him a break at this point. I would just, we just don't have a way of charging for it. Well, we could just charge him. Well, yeah, we, we could. could just charge him for the half. For the, we could charge him just for the um, system development fee. Yeah, we could a tee off his existing line. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But see, then the second half of that charge is if if we have to go out and do some work, but we're not going to charge them that because we're not going to have to do anything. That's going to get in a sticky situation. They're going to have people wanting to run water from their house to their garage or something. You know, where do you draw the line? How do you? I think. I know. That's I think unless I, you're doing a new tap and a curb stop, I, if they they're going to pay for the water that goes through the meter, we're going to get our money out of it. So. I mean, in the future, you might want to choose the route, change the rules and regulations. You can't do it at this meeting. You can't do it now. You can't yeah. just right. make it up as you but go But you along. can say that in the future, any if you're going to tie another building off of your existing service, it has to be after the water meter. Yeah. That well, way they, it we could after discuss after it later on and figure out what, what we're going to do. Yep. Um, I'm just saying, right? I just want to make sure that we treat everybody the same. Yep. One person isn't doing it one way, another person is doing it another way. That's when it's going to come back and uh, make us look like a bunch of idiots. So, um, all right. So, we uh, want to vote on those minutes of the changes. I'll make a motion. We accept the minutes. I'll second. April 21st, 2020, as corrected. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Carrie, you got some warrants there you need signed? Yeah, I have one, um, and then I also have the commitment. Okay, so we should um, swing by and tomorrow and, and sign them? Yep, just tell me what time. That's good for you guys. Doesn't matter, I'm around, so whatever works for Kerry going in. Tomorrow's tough for me. I'm going to be tied up on a job, I think, all day. I just need two, if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Rick, are you around tomorrow? Yep. Can we I, say? I can come by. What 10 time? 10 o'clock? 10? 10. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so that's all taken care of. So uh, anything else in the new business? That, Wayne, you got anything? Not a new business. That can legally be brought up? Uh, no, I mean, you can discuss anything. You can't vote on anything. Right. Okay. Do you have anything you want to discuss? Um, 
New business now. Anybody else? No. Okay, old business. Uh, how about an update on the replacement well? So, Rick, Rick did you skip the commitment? No, oh, Carrie, you said we're going to sign that. We're going to sign that when we do the bills. All right. She already she already brought that up, so I didn't bring it up. Okay. Because we didn't need to take a vote on that anyways. Uh, update on the replacement well. So I sent you guys all the literature he sent. When I read it, it didn't look like it needed a response. He emailed me. Friday and I emailed him back asking him if he's waiting for a response for us or he's he's gonna get going because they already know one of the sites was a little better than the other. He didn't get back to me today, so I don't have anything new on that. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got any questions on that for one? Nope. Update for the water permit. I haven't heard anything on that at this point in time. So I'm I guess DEP has it, but like I said, they're all scattered to the wind, so they're not, they're all home also. So everything is really almost on hold. Okay. Uh, update on the new water source? Um, that's not going to move. Nothing's moved on that because we were waiting for the permit to be signed off. Okay. And the next thing in old business is 373 Crescent Street, the septic system. And I guess we're pretty much um, uh, decided that the uh, sprinkler line that services the fire protection there is uh, at least 10 feet away from the uh, Legion field and the tank and everything. Yeah, I actually did get a copy of the current version of the as built but all it has is the ties to the different components of the septic. It's, they still didn't put ties on for the pipe, but I called Mike Koska. Uh, he's the engineer for it. And I left him a message to see if he can get me, if they did take any swing ties or anything for the offset, just so would have it in the record. Yeah. But um, again, Bob Casper was pretty confident. He did see it and it was well outside. Okay. The required distance. Okay, as long as somebody in the, you know, Board of Health or somebody in the Water Department yep. actually saw it, somebody from the town. Does anybody else have anything in old business that they want to bring up? Um, well, I previously talked about the, I bought the nut kits. So to yep. date, we've done three of them. They, they've gone really well, but what we're finding is the, the, the valves that we're turning, I don't know what brand they are, but they have a brass nut on the top. The brass nut is pretty much gone on each one that we've gotten to. Corroded? They're gonna, yeah. Like, tr truly, there's like, it's just a piece that's sitting there. It's not. Yeah. So the, we we're gonna uh, have issues eventually, anyways. The nut on top is made of brass? Yep. Wow. I never seen one. I've always seen them made of cast. Yeah, the stem and it, it's a, the stem comes up and is actually the threaded part and it's a nut. It's not a bolt going in like the new ones. So, yeah, there's really there's nothing left. They've pretty much corroded out. But we got out of the intersection so that when they go to do the lights at the intersection, we're all done in there. Where are they doing the light? At the corner of Howard and uh, West Center. Oh, are they? Yeah. Hmm. When are they going to start that? It's a, well, I'm supposed to start right away. I thought that they were supposed to be done like during the middle of summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did see some engineers out there uh, last year, last That's fall. Why we kind of hurried along so that I wouldn't be the holdup. Yeah. Do you have anything else you got to do out in that intersection or is that? No, nope, that's it. I did, it's a, no, I've already found their signal wires and everything else. I don't want to find anything else out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else got anything? Uh, yeah, question for Wayne. Did you have a chance to get updated prices for leak detection? So I haven't done that yet, but I will do it this week. 
as, okay. as I do this, though, I've done it before because I found the folder, so I know who to call, and I've heard some feedback from different ones on different people. There are about three guys out there that do it that are really good and reputable. Yep. So I'll get the prices from them, but I hate wasting their time if it's not, you know, we're not going to do anything with it. But, you know, if we're having this issue with the leaks and the unaccounted for, it's getting to the point we're kind of going to have to. It's going to. The state's going to force our hand on it anyway. And if we've got that much leak. Right. At some point, they're going to say, you haven't done your system in X amount of years. We want to see it done. Yeah, and we're way over the recommended range there, too. I mean, what well, we're say? It, yeah. Yeah, I mean, truly, there is always, it, it's expected that there will be some water loss. That's why they put it at 10%. Mm -hmm. And they've actually changed it now that if you go over, I believe the new rule is you have two years to come back within. So even though I was out this year, but there's no way to tell going through if I'll be in next year. You know, you know, nothing in our system has changed. Yeah. It's gotten a year older. Right. And that that whole South Main, South Main Street, those sections of pipe are six feet two bolts on each end the entire length of that street yeah what south bay yeah you know yeah and all the bolts are rotted off yeah they, i'm sure the good thing is that i mean it's press fit as they went along and put it together but yeah so well, the they were, they were, there's a little piece of um lead in in those joints or they're just machine really tight and then those bolts sucked it together. And then the, now the bolts are rotted off. That's why we had so many leaks out there. And the, when uh, when you just get a little disturbance around that pipe, they start leaking in those joints. Yeah, and they bet, it's bedded under a clay layer, so it, it doesn't surface. Yeah. And the road is really thick there. It's, and How much one other place that we have is at uh, Emerson, South Main and Emerson. If you haven't noticed as you go over there, you can see the road beginning to sink. And that could be the old steel line going into Emerson after it was replaced. So the state's kind of been getting on my case about the hydrant patch. So when we go there, we're going to dig up the other one and see if we can find that lead and see if maybe there's something going on there. Which one is Emerson, Wayne? Uh, it's just past the... the that but good days if you're going down if you oh, just the road walking, that goes up to the right across yeah, from ash well, street off to the left past ash street right on yeah, the past left. ash south of ash street all right yeah, yeah we put see the road is beginning there. to gully we cut the two inch off and put an eight inch line in there tapped everybody over to the eight i think we shut the gate off out there at the uh, at South Main, I don't remember if we dug it up or not. Be in the be in the records if we did cut it off at the main. I don't remember. I'll look, but I haven't. All I know is a hydrant patch sank, and that's what they're getting on my case about, which is easy. Just rip it out and put a new one in. But the road itself is actually sinking too for no apparent reason. Yeah, that that. Uh, that street used to have a leak in that two inch line like weekly. That's why we finally had to uh, replace it. We had so many leaks on it. The whole pipe was just letting go. Yeah. Carrie, you should add the um, leak detection to the old business. Sure. And just in case we have to take a vote on uh, funding yep. for at some point yep. so that we can legally do it. Sure. Wayne, how many gallons do you think we're losing a day now? Uh, it stayed consistent. I wish that I could look at it and I'll see, like, usually we're running around 400,000, but then we'll spike to seven and we'll go back. It's weird. It, Jerry's just sending out, just sent out bills again. Um, see if you can figure out this quarter. Um, the amount of water we sold compared to the amount of water you pump. Yeah. See if yep. see if we're see if we're better or worse or where we're at. Do yep. as many checks and, and balances as you can to really see. Make sure it's not a uh, instrument error on our part or something. Yep. Uh, I have been looking. All right. Well, just 
just take a look at the quarter and then, you yep. know, we can check it by quarter and see if something's getting, you know, if we keep losing every quarter, we're losing more Then you know that the leak somewhere is getting bigger, getting bigger or we'll get more leaks. You know? usually get worse, right? Right. Yeah. But if it starts going the other way, you're getting better, then that tells you that something else is going on. Is leaks don't fix themselves, so. No, they don't. Anybody got anything else they want to discuss? Good for me. No. Nothing. Um, next meeting, should we meet? Uh, I have a regular meeting at, at, a, at the water department. What do you guys want to do? I think I'm always available. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't care. I'll do it either way. I'll do I it. I don't either. care either. I mean, I can get tables and separate you guys a little so that you're not at the same table. Spreads out a little more. This works think, unless we have to get together. But because I mean, the eight, the next one's the eighteenth. The eighteenth, right? yes. And he's not going to open any. Nothing's going to change before then. So, so why don't we, can, we just? We, I don't. We, I don't care which way we do it. it. Doesn't matter to me. We can. We can just. We can discuss and stuff just as well here as we are there. You know. Right. I don't see any reason why we can't do this again. Maybe one more time or something, you know? I right. think so. Does that, that sound good to everybody? Yeah. Yep. Okay. If there's uh, anybody has any change of feelings on that, uh, just get a hold of Curry and uh, you know, she can get in touch with us, or the rest of us, and we can, you know, do something different. Doesn't make any difference to me, but this these meetings seem to go all right for me. For the time being. Yeah. All right. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Um, motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.